morning. This is a video about my small barrel stove. It's a twig stove that looks like a regular barrel stove except it's small. Uh, it's small so that you can use twigs and low cost fuel for cooking. And I'll give you the dimensions now. The main dimensions are based on a grate, on a grill grate. And this one is mass produced in China. It's about nine and a half inches by 12 inches. The total stove is about nine inches by 11 inches by five and a half inches high. And it's made with one eighth inch or three millimeter thickness steel. Okay, now I'll give you some dimensions here in metrics. Now you can custom make this to your dimensions. I'm just showing you what, what we did. Okay, so the width would be 22 centimeters. The length would be 27 centimeters. The radius here would be 11 centimeters. This is the feed hole in the front where you put the sticks in, like this. Okay, and the feed hole is two centimeters down from the top to the top of the hole. It's seven centimeters high and 10 centimeters wide. And we have four legs that have been welded on on the ends. About half centimeter by 14 centimeter steel rods. And that's about it. Um, it was made with pieces of scrap steel uh, laying on the floor of a, of a metal working shop. They cut the two pieces on the ends with 11 centimeters by 22 centimeters steel. And they rolled one piece, the main piece, out of 27 centimeters by 34 and a half centimeter steel. That was rolled on a machine. They did everything. The total cost of this is about seven dollars. That includes the grill grate. Now your cost may vary. I got a good deal on this. Or you can make it yourself if you have some basic tools. But the idea here is to utilize what's available. We have these inexpensive grates. This is less than a dollar. So that, that's what started the idea. I see barrel stoves everywhere, people barbecuing. So I took the available small grate and then had a custom half barrel fabricated to fit this. And again, you can change the dimensions if you have a different size grate or if you need something bigger. This is the perfect size for us. You can, you can grill chicken, corn, fish, steaks, just about anything on here for one or two people. It's not for a family size. And to start the fire, you put the tinder and fuel, the kindling, inside here. You can feed additional kindling and fuel from the front. And we'll show that in the next step. Okay, now we're going to start a fire inside our barrel stove and see how it works. We're using uh, natural local materials, no newspaper, uh, no Vaseline, no gasoline, no, no accelerants. Just using what we, you can find in nature. Now the materials will vary depending on where you live. But learn your materials, that's the point of all this. Learn your materials, see what works best. This is the cotton from the white cotton tree. It fluffs, fluffs up really nice. This is the best tinder I've found so far. I'd like to know how it compares to cattails. That's what we used in the Boy Scouts when I was a kid.
thread it so it starts faster. I'm just going to throw this together to show how quick and easy it can be. I'm not going to make a very careful fire. Here's some of that paper from bamboo. And we'll get some twigs. Get everything ready before you ignite it. We have the wind picking up here. Let's hope this works okay. Then when you start to get some coals, you can start using bigger, bigger sticks. And when you get some coals, you can start to barbecue. And then once you have food on top, like say a steak, you can feed the twigs in from the front through the feed hole. Yeah, the twigs are definitely damp. I've used these a lot. They work great, but today they're damp. But you get the idea.